Hi guys, today I'm going to make a video for you to help with B flat major scale. And this is from the grade two syllabus, but you can use this technique for any scale really. It helps you with your placement of the third and fourth finger. I'm also going to make you a video for exercise 2C, which also requires you to place your third and fourth finger down together. But let's start with B flat major. And the problem that a lot of people have is that when they're going down in the scale, and intonation is not good. So you could see there that I was just putting one finger at a time and I was not blocking my fingers well at all. So my intonation really sucked a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that something that you can practice to improve in the way you put your third and fourth together or far away for that matter. So our first exercise is on the E and the A string. And we're gonna have F natural, which is the low first. Then we've got D, which is third. And we're gonna put the fourth right on top. Look how close that is. The very tip is very close. So that's my first exercise. And now I'm gonna do it a little faster. So the third finger is almost, we can't hear. So eventually what will happen is you will place your third and fourth down like this, and they will be really, really close. A lot of people, when they place their third and fourth down, they can't put them close enough. So that will be like this. So now let's add in the second finger and the first moving across. So notice that when I do the three and four, the second is not on, it stays in the air. So let's do that. So what you could see is I did my three, four, and then when I was playing the three, I then put the second finger down ready to be used. And then while I was playing the second, my first finger moved across. Now in reality, the move of the first finger from the E to the A string will be really secret. So you won't be able to see it. I made it a little bit more obvious. So you could see when I was doing that. Here it is again. And now let's do on the A and D string. And in this case for B flat major, we're gonna be going to A on the fourth finger. And A on the fourth finger is far away from the third, which is playing G. So we're going to be blocking far away. Now three and far with the four and again. and continue down and lastly is the D and G and this is the super tricky one because your fourth really feels like it's reaching to the moon so um, it's especially important to make sure your first stays down on the D string not slides up so you can reach the four you want to stay in its place on E flat and which is low first and you put your three and then four three two make sure there is no tension in your wrist or your thumb one more time scale so I'm just going to go from F natural on the E string so I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go back down all the way so here we go from the F natural you get good at it you can make sure that we do not hear the third finger before we hear the fourth 
So you would just have the 34th going on together, either far or close. And this is a really important skill and it will help you to play in tune and also very quickly. I hope you enjoyed the video.